Something weird is going on. Something weird is going on indeed. Welcome to the sanctuary. I'm Kyle, and I'm here to tell you, never be afraid to step into the pleasure den of the absurd. It's something weird Sunday. And as you know, or maybe you don't know, but I'm going to say it again. <laughs> this is where we celebrate all the fun films and all the extras of that great video company, Something Weird Video. And a name that's synonymous with Something Weird Video, uh, the filmmaker Herschel Gordon Lewis. You can't talk about one without the other. And of course, that's my friend, the late Herschel Gordon Lewis. So today, we're going to talk about another one of his films, a very special film from 1967. It's the film he made called Something Weird, and it might look familiar to people with the logo and the girl, because this is from the original ad art. And this was put out uh, by Image Entertainment along with Something Weird Video. One, well, not one, the greatest home video company ever made. <laughs> it is, this film really uh, encapsulizes so much of just what this video company represents. So I'm going to use my special handy dandy tool to read the back of the box uh, to tell you a little bit about just how weird this movie is. So it says, when an electrical accident disfigures the face of Cronin Mitchell, played by Tony McCabe. He also acquires strange psychic powers. He promptly makes a bargain with a witch who restores his looks if he will become her lover. However, though the world sees her as a sexy cutie named Ellen, played by Elizabeth Lee, Mitchell's new girlfriend is actually an ugly old crone. After expelling a ghost from a funeral home, Mitchell next tries to discover the identity of a small town maniac. However, the feds have also asked karate chopping playboy Alex Jordan, played by William Brooker, to oversee the case. And Jordan schemes to have Ellen all for himself. But not before Mitchell boosts his ESP with LSD. And Jordan is attacked by killer bedsheets. Honest. <laughs> like the title promises, Something Weird, another crackpot gem from director Herschel Gordon Lewis, is one of the most bizarre and outrageous horror flicks ever made and presented uncut and in widescreen for the first time since its original theatrical release. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there he is with his disfigured face. And this is what the old witch really kind of looks like. And um, this is Elizabeth Lee here as she normally looks. A very lovely lady. Elizabeth Lee was also in another one of uh, Herschel Gordon Lewis's movies around this time, The Great uh, Suburban Roulette, um, along with Tony McCabe. <laughs> they were both in that again. And um, she, uh, if I recall correctly, ended up marrying one of Herschel Gordon Lewis's crew members. And, um, uh, that's one of the nice things that I like about uh, filmmakers. Not only 
uh, of Herschel Gordon Lewis, but of like any filmmaker, you know, like Ed Wood or, uh, you know, Martin Scorsese. In the fact that they use, or, or Mel Brooks even, <laughs> they use, you know, they sort of have a stock performance company at times, you know, they use a lot of the same people in uh, many of their movies, and uh, I kind of like that. So using my handy dandy tool again, I'll just uh, tell you what some of the extras are, because that's a great thing about something weird video and their uh, image entertainment DVDs is that there's there's always a, a lot of extras that um, go along with it so uh, with this one you have an audio introduction by director Herschel Gordon Lewis um, then you have an audio commentary by David F Friedman exposing the crackpot origins of something weird video now David F Friedman uh, is a name that is mostly synonymous with something weird video. I mean, uh, if I recall correctly, the story went that, you know, in those early days of, you know, uh, film uh, collecting, uh, guys would have prints of these old films and they would put them on VHS, and there really was a hunger um, to, you know, uh, to, to um, see these movies because they were documented in books and whatnot, and um, maybe people remember them from playing in their neighborhood back in the day, whether it be a theater or a drive-in or whatever, and uh, all these crazy movies and whatnot. And um, so, you know, there was a market, you know, above or underground, whatever, for these things, and, um, David F. Friedman caught wind of, uh, you know, uh, Mike Vraney, uh, selling this stuff, and then, uh, Mike was like, hey, man, listen, there really is a huge interest in this stuff, so, um, you know, if you want in, you know, let's do it right, let's do it legal, and, um, and you can make some money. And so, um, once David Friedman got that first royalty check, he just opened up his vaults, talked to all of his friends, and said, hey, here you go. And, you know, and that's how Something Weird Video started, you know. And it's a great American success story. I mean, I gotta say, it really is, you know. Um, these films, you know, nobody thought they were worth any value, much less the guys that made them, you know, but they saved them nonetheless. It was, you know, just sitting there along with all the ad art and press books and um, posters and all that stuff and all that, you know, promotion that goes along with it, all the trailers and all that stuff. And, and so uh, Mike Rainey was just such a great uh, movie hound that, um, he was like the first one, really, to really sort of... Well, he wasn't... He wasn't the only one, but he was a... He was like top of the heap, as far as I'm concerned. You know, because he really did, man. Something Weird Video is a, um... You know, great... Great American success story. You know, to me, it really is, you know. And they're presenting what I consider American history, you know, um, you know, through, through these films, because, um, uh, just the way, um, they were presented back in the day, like in the thirties and stuff like that, you know, some movies, these hygiene movies at times, they would have just the men and boys on certain nights showing in a theater. Then they would have, you know, uh, mothers and, and daughters and the other, you know, and um, and um, that was just for those types of films. I mean, there was pl a whole genre of, you know, crime drama, whatever, wherever you could stick, like, um, you know, some pretty girls and, and some have some hand-fisted violence between, you know, two, two tough guys, you know, or, or whatever, monsters and uh, 
you know, mad scientists and maniacs and just all kinds of stuff. Whatever, whatever you could do to get somebody in a theater to pay a ticket so the filmmakers could make money. That's, you know, the way it was done. Now, Herschel Gordon Lewis, you know, never really thought that, um, you know, he was making art. He was making product to make money. But such as it was, um, some people really uh, have an appreciation for the way he did it. And so there you go. I just realized I didn't finish reading off of the rest of the bonus stuff on this disc. So after David F. Friedman talks about the origins of something weird, you get archival short subject number one. Monsterama Nightmare from the Weird World of LSD. The Weird World of LSD was this weird black and white film that um, was about <laughs> LSD trips. And uh, some of the uh, stuff going on is just way out there, man. Just way out there. You got to see it. Uh, archival short subject number two, Sight Out Sing Along with the 4D Witch. Um, that's a song that's on this album here. Uh, you can pick up this double LP or c CD set if you'd rather from Modern Harmonic. Go check it out. It's all songs and stuff from all these weird movies, man. Go check it out. Uh, and then you get archival short, short subject number three, LSD Psychedelic Freakout. Ooh, man, see what the hippies were doing back then. <laughs> and then you get Herschel Gordon Lewis Gallery of Exploitation Art. And that's where they um, have a slideshow of um, the various promotional materials, you know, um, the posters and the press books and the ad art uh, for all of uh, Herschel Gordon Lewis's movies, you know, and it's fun. A lot of good stuff. Um, Something Weird Video does a great job all the time with their um, DVDs. And this is the namesake. You know, Great Wild Flick. Oh, and not only that. Yeah, I think I mentioned this before. So it's color. It's color film, 80 minutes, unrated, and presented in its... Uh, 1.85 by 1 theatrical aspect ratio. It's, it's, they did a great job with this. It's a wild film. Russell Gordon Lewis at this time um, was... Um, his movies were becoming a bit more refined. Um, he did have um, a small film crew with him. And um, the, uh, you know, he still had his trademark, you know slow moving camera shots uh but he was um you know they're they're uh John Landis would say they're amateurish and stuff and but to me he was like uh getting more and more refined in his in his uh, approach to uh filmmaking but again Hershey Gordon Lewis you got a lot of fans out there and you made a lot of people happy and you made me happy to say that I'm your friend and with that I want to thank you for watching um, if you like this video click the thumbs up icon give it a like if you really like what we do which is just uh, set the camera down and look into it hold stuff up and talk about it uh, then subscribe to the channel Click all notifications so you always know when something's uploaded. And, um, you know, the, uh, the, the rule of four. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I don't care what order you do it in. So long as you do it. Hey, have you seen something weird video? Are you a fan of Herschel Gordon Lewis? Are you a fan of something weird video? What about David F. Friedman? Don't forget him. What are some of your favorite films from this awesome video company? Something weird video. I don't know. You tell me. That's what the comment section is for. So again, I want to thank you all for watching. And you're always welcome to visit me here in 
the pleasure den of the absurd.